Hi everyone, this is Laura and I have another card share for you today. And um, for these two cards that I'm going to share with you, I used my Sarah K um, stamp here. And you know what? I noticed, well, I've said this on my videos before, um, a lot of my subbies and um, friends have asked me the names of certain stamps that I use and for some reason Sarah K she does not name any of her stamps it's just a Sarah K stamp but um, I forgot if I don't know how I um I don't know why I keep thinking it was called bunny or cuddle something cuddle bunny or but anyway she's cuddling with a little tiny bunny <laughs> basically that's all I wanted to get out um, and I just love Sarah K stamps of all the stamps um, they are definitely my favorite and again um, making Christmas cards for the first time this year I've been saying that I'm gonna make Christmas cards for the last two years and I never get around to it and I realized this season why I don't because I don't have a lot of Christmas stamps um, this to me is more of a wintry stamp. It's not really a Christmas stamp per se. And if you've seen um, my last card video of my first Christmas cards that I made, I was going to try, instead of buying more stamps, um, taking those stamps and making them Christmassy or appropriate for a Christmas card or incorporating um, all kinds of different stamps for Christmas card making. Um, just so that we can get multi-uses out of those stamps that we pay so much money for. And for this particular stamp, let me show you what I came up with. And this is my first card. And for this particular um, card, I used a matte stack by Sarah Kay. And this is what that matte stack looks like. Um, it's the Yuletide match deck, and this was give it, given to me by one of my beautiful Scrappy sisters. So basically what I did was I just stamped the image and I colored her in using my Pro Markers, um, and I colored the, the whole image using my Pro Markers, and then what I did was I used stickles all over the image um, as you can see and on the ground there I didn't have any of that snow text or any of that stuff so what I decided to use instead was my very my number one cool gray pro marker and this stuff over here um, which is the stickles and it's the baby blue and it really made it look like she was stepping in snow. It did an awesome job, especially around the Christmas tree. And I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Um, for the Christmas tree, I paper pierced, I uh, pieced several different of the tree images. And I layered them one on top of each other to create a Christmas tree. On the top, I have a little rhinestone. I also fussy cut all these hollies out of the graphic 45 paper and I added a big fat satiny bow on top. Um, I layered that pattern paper on some red cardstock and then I also have my lattice rectangle spell binders die and I also layered that with some red cardstock and that's what I cut the image out on um, that spell binders die. And I also added some Studio G and some stickles to all the hollies going all the way around. And then on the inside of the card, I just, um, again, using the um, same stamp set that I showed you earlier, which was the Heidi Grace Christmas stamp set. Um... 
I uh, just gold embossed uh, using the Queen Skull, the Rangers Queen Skull embossing powder and the Zing Metallic Green embossing powder over here for the little trim. I fussy cut some more of those glittered Christmas trees, uh, some more of that pattern paper, and I also fussy cut another piece of that for um. Holly from the Graphic 45 papers. And guys, this was one of the cards I made on Crop Night on Saturday. <laughs> and I was telling the ladies I was so involved with our conversation. I accidentally um, put this on this side rather than this side. But uh, I had worked so hard on this card that I decided to keep it like that. And I'll just write a nice message to someone on that side. That's all. And I have a piece of lace here. And this is just a piece of the um, American Crafts basic uh, cardstock. And over here, some more of that Yuletide paper by K and Company. And that's about it. And that's that one. And then for this one, I did a little change. I embossed the uh, blue cardstock that I use and this is just again some American craft plain cardstock in the background and I embossed this using one of those uh, bigger embossabilities by Spellbinders I don't know if you guys have seen them before hold on and I'll get one real quick And this is what they look like. This is the side that I did use. It's a 5 by 7 so it works perfect for the card. Um, and then I just um, inked it with some fire brick red. I fussy cut all these little ivies going all the way around. Um, and I also added some of that green glitter, uh, glitter and the red stickles. I added a big blue satin bow and the layers on here I also um, got from the mat stack um, and it's this one right here that I used which had a lot of blue in it which is why I laid it onto blue cardstock and used it for my little blue snuggle bunny excuse me and for this Christmas tree guys I actually um, made this Christmas tree as well I just used the um, basic gray Christmas tree stamp and I did it um, I just uh, stamped a few images and I embossed it using this metallic green embossing powder by American Crafts and then I just took a piece of pattern paper and then I um, distressed it with some vintage photo and I added some gold stickles around the edge to it over here I have one of those little buckles the slider buckles that um, Nuka and Jackie had gifted me um, and I also have a piece of that ribbon running through it again a whole bunch of the stickles on the floor and I added a whole bunch of stickles in the sky to make it look like there was snow falling um, I added some of that mesh bling here as trim some rhinestones and all these rhinestones were also gifted to me by my cousin and this particular spellbinders die I know I, I do like that. was the um wavy red crackle. And it was a pretty big die. And it's that one. And then on the inside of the card I um have this Stamp that I have not used in forever and a day. As a matter of fact, I think this might be the first time I'm actually using it. And it's just um, a stamp of a big, big, big tag. 
and I actually, um, I think I won this on eBay for two bucks, <laughs> and it's ginormous. I just love it, and I'm glad I finally got some use out of it, and I um, embossed that in the Queen's Gold, and then I just added this little sticker that I had in my stash. It's a dimensional sticker, and it says, Happy Christmas. So, guys, those are my two cards. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. And I have two more cards that I made for Christmas. I didn't realize how much time and energy and work goes into these Christmas cards. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun making them. Um, I just want to say real quick to all my subbies out there. Um, for all you guys who are traveling on Thanksgiving, may you have a blessed and safe Thanksgiving. Um, I'm wishing all my scrappy sisters out there a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. Please enjoy the holidays with um, your loved ones. Um, but can we also, during um, at some point during our meal, can we just give thanks um on thursday for all that we have and can we um just say a little special prayer for all those people out of new york that are still going through what they're going through because of hurricane sandy um let's just remember them in our thoughts and in our wishes as well as the rest of the people in the world who um, may not be so fortunate as we are uh not to get on my soapbox but i just wanted to um say that and I just wanted to say to everyone, have a healthy, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I will be chatting with you soon. Um, many blessings to everyone. Big hugs. Thanks for watching. Bye.